Welcome all. Today we are going to introduce a new pump set. Of course this pump set is from Aqua Group under the brand name Aquatex. Although it is listed from 2021, I think most people in our area have never seen this pump set before. It's because of its eccentric design and applications. Let's see the model first. So we are in Ravi Electrical's Dindical right now and our pump set is ready to unbox here. This is a very solid packing provided by our company to avoid transit damages. As this is a different model, the packing is opened in the shop itself to estimate what accessories will be required to install this set. And the site is located in the countryside where we can't get any accessories in an emergency. And here comes the Aquatex AX Max series open wheel submersible pumps. The model name is AX Max 37150 and what sets it apart from the other pump is its unique design. The company has released two models in this series, one at 5 HP and the other at 2 HP. And this is the three phase 5 HP model that runs at 2900 RPM. The section and delivery are designed in 6 inch size. And this motor part alone looks exactly similar to our ASM 4J model open wheel submersible set. The head range of this pump is 3 to 6 meters and the discharge range is 35 to 57 LPS. Imagine at 3 meters of it, this machine will pump 57 liters of water in a second. That's really amazing. The Aquatex brand name is labeled on the section bracket as well as the pump housing. And here is a caution sticker to warn us not to run this pump with the shutter valve closed and not to run above 6 meter head condition. Because this can cause the motor to overload and burn the winding. So now we are almost at the location and we just stopped because the vehicle transportation facility ends here. And it is about a kilometer walk from here to the location. The location is beyond this field and it's a beautiful place. This pump set can be used for large scale water transfer applications and irrigation purposes from wells, rivers and canals. Commonly, it's suitable for low head and high discharge applications. So finally we arrived at the site. This is a fish farm and it's their harvesting time. So these ponds have to be drained with a pump to catch the fish. Here they have been using this small monoblock pump for this purpose and I think it will take some days to drain this pond with this pump. Now they are bringing our pump to the location. It weighs about 120 kilograms. We have been brought a reducer bush and a hose collar to fit in the delivery section. At first, without removing the flange, they cut the center part of the washer on the outlet portion. And inside this you can see a long shaft that connects the rotor shaft and the impeller. Now they are removing the drain plugs to fill the water in the winding portion because it's a water cooled wet winder type motor. Then they are extending this motor cable by joining it with a 6 square mount flat cable. These joints may submerge in water and they are sealing it precisely. Now the suction bracket is removed to cut the flange washer in the inlet. And here you can see a solid, rust-free, propeller type impeller. Now they want to reduce the delivery size to 4 inches. And hence they are preparing to connect a reducer bush and a hose collar on the delivery flange. Then the threaded portions are sealed with shellac and cotton threads to avoid water leakage. Now they are connecting these accessories. And it is tightened firmly using a chain wrench. Now they are removing the flange to connect the delivery hose on this setup. Here we use a 4 inches HDP pipe, but it's not easy to insert into the collar directly. So we need to heat the tip of this pipe for more flexibility. 
Also applying grease on the collar for lubrication. Now it can be easily inserted. Then tighten well with the two hose clips to prevent its separation. Now they are connecting the flange with the pump set. All these bolts and nuts are fast and firmly. Now the cable is also tied to the hose. Then they have set up an arrangement to prevent the pump set from getting stuck in the mud. Mud or sand should not enter inside this pump because that can result in severe damages. Now the pump set is ready to erect but unfortunately there is no power here from yesterday. It was informed that the line was broken somewhere due to heavy rain in the last night. All of them were eagerly waiting to see the performance of this pump set. I know you are also waiting for the same. But sorry, we will update the remaining portion of this video in the part 2. So please contact us to know more about this pump. Thank you.